These shelves around me are full of parts for motorcycles. Now, Showy Performance have just purchased their first vertical machining center of Fanuc Robo Drill, and they're a very happy customer. Brett, before we get on to talking about the Fanuc Robo Drill and the reason behind your first purchase of a vertical machining center, what is it you're making here at Showy Performance? We can pretty much make anything on, um, on two wheels with an engine, so gaskets, um, spacers, bushes, um, revalve pedals, impellers, pretty much anything. So with so many vertical machining centres in the industry, why did you go for the Fanuc Robo Drill? Um, the spindle speed is one. Um, some of the materials that we cut um, require a high spindle speed um, and also the flexibility um, allowing us to um, control and automate some of the processes um, with, with the control system. But you'd, how did you find out about the robo drill? Um, ironically, it was through MTD itself. Um, so I looked at a video probably three or four years ago and they had one of these machines or similar um, with, with a robot attached to the side, um, which, which drew my attention. So of course, basically, you're saying you've seen a solution out there and you think, actually, I can work with that. So how are you finding it? Because you've not had this long, have you? No, no, we've only had it about four or five months. Um, the control itself sort of suits um, suits what we do. Um, we've had no problems sort of picking it up. Um, it was it was delivered and within 10 days we were all already producing parts. Um, How's the training been for you? Yeah, we had a day with um, with Andrew Harvey from Fanuc. Um, he answered all my questions. We were already using the machine prior to him coming. Um, he answered a lot of questions that, um, that were sort of unresolved for us. Um, and he's been there with sort of email and telephone support since. I know you're blown away by this machine and its flexibility. So what parts are you making on here? So we make um, copper gaskets, reed valve petals, uh, water pump impellers, spacers, bushes. Um, we use a, a vacuum table for a lot of our products. Um, they're small, thin um, carbon fibre components, some of them. And the, the table allows us to, to pin the items and allows us to batch cut. Um, we've integrated it with the, the Fanuc control, so it's all um, on the machine. Wow, OK, so it's quite specialist, very niche here, what you're doing. And then you're introducing automation yourself with the tooling and a gripper. This is amazing. Can you explain what, what, why and, and how you're doing that? Yeah, we're using a, um, um, a gripper to allow us to pick um, parts off a, a pallet tray, um, pop them into a vice, um, machine the component, flip them over um, into another vice, and then pop them back into the pallet. Um, so we can batch um, anywhere between sort of 20 and 70 um, components in one go. Fascinating to hear a company by their first vertical machining centre introduce automation. So just to finalise, would you recommend this machine to others and why? Absolutely. Um, the reliability of, of Fanuc is, is something that's well, particularly important to us. Um, the machine's been fast and reliable and the controls sensible to use. Um, I'd have no problems in, in recommending, and certainly if we purchased another machine it would be another robo drill.